God bless you. My name is Tato. I'm from Botswana, but residing in the USA. And I'd love to share my testimony of what the Lord has done for me after my one-on-one -on -one session with Prophet Andres. Immediately after my one-on-one -on -one session, I was I immediately felt lighter. There was it's like a load was lifted off of me. Like my heart was free, light. I was experiencing I'm experiencing so much peace, so much freedom, and so much joy. Um, something else I'll add to that is a few days prior to my one-on-one -on -one session, I had hit a wall spiritually like a ceiling. I was trying to push further in reading, keeping in the word, in meditation and prayer, but it was becoming more challenging each day, harder and harder to just focus. And immediately after the prayer, that's something that I realized that had changed because the yearning and the hunger for the word has returned. And I give all the glory to the Lord because of that. Man of God um, gave a lot of words of prophecy regarding my life, regarding my family. And um, I'd like to confirm that every single thing that the man of God said and spoke about was 100% correct, completely true. Some of the things, though I knew were true, it was after meditation and just reflection on what um, our one-on-one -on -one session that the Lord had really begun to show me how true some of those things really are and i thank god because um i thank god because i didn't realize how sort of in bondage i was until the man of god revealed some of these things and only then did i could i truly see how much i I needed the mercy of God. Um, also, just following a lot of things that the servant of God spoke of, Prophet Andres, um, I think since that, since our one-on-one -on -one session, I've had dreams that sort of confirmed the... And when I say confirmed, not that the prophecies were true, because I already, everything he spoke of, I believed it to be true. But the confirmation in the sense of the, for example, when the breakthroughs he was telling me were to come, I also, the following days, I, I began to have dreams whereby I saw that, um, where, the, where I was seeing those breakthroughs in the dream. And that, so I believe that's from the Holy Spirit. And that's something else I'd like to share to glorify the Lord. I'll definitely come back um, with another video once um, more of what was said in the prophecy, in the one-on-one -on -one session comes to manifestation. Something else that happened that has never happened before is that um, usually before I get my, I come into my menstrual cycle, there must be a dream, a nightmare really, um, like spiritual husband sort of indication to show that like a spiritual, the spiritual husband must come and something must happen. And then I know that once I see that dream, immediately like i'll see my menstruation but this time around that didn't happen in fact my menstruation started so suddenly that i was shocked because i usually have some sort of indication even though it's a negative one it's an evil one it was sort of an indication to me that okay now i've had this dream or now that i've seen this i know to expect this but that wasn't the case immediately like that wasn't the case immediately after my um yeah i i received prayers and for the first time in my life like i just experienced my menstru my menstruation like that and so that's also something i would love to glorify the lord for and usually like when they would come they would come with such intense pain like crippling pain but that has changed to the glory of the lord
one last thing that I'll share that the Lord has done for me through this one-on-one -on -one session is that um, I've been following Charis Missionary. It hasn't been long. It's actually, it, I started um, following the ministry at the beginning of this year. And I learned a lot of new things that I haven't um, sort of witnessed and experienced through Charis. But something that had always challenged me, and I'm being very honest in saying this because it's it's also for the glory of the Lord. Something that has really always challenged me was I had never before seen a ministry where um, the parents and the children are all prophets and prophetesses. So that really challenged me. I, you know, I was so, I, I believed that like apostle and um, apostle and um, prophetess Makananisa. I believe that um, apostle and prophetess Makananisa were called, but I was challenged by just the possibility of having a whole family serving God. And so because of that, because I found that so challenging, um, whenever that thought would come, the, the thought itself would scare me because the word of God says, you know, touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm. So I could, I could witness and testify that truly indeed, um, you know, uh, apostles, children are just as called as he is, but because I couldn't understand it, it posed as a challenge. So because of that, whenever there was a message from anyone who wasn't apostle or prophetess, where, where, where it was, um, one of his children, be it, um, you know, his daughter prophetess, Tendo, even Prophet Andres. Sometimes I would have to just um, I I would I would move on because I was afraid of the thought of questioning the calling in their life because Scripture is so clear about what God says about their servants. But my challenge was coming from my the fact that I'd never before ex witnessed anything like what was happening in um, Cherish Missionary. But to the glory of the Lord, I would love to say that um, my one-on-one -on -one session was was with um, Prophet Andres, and you know when I when I saw him come on, that did not register as a thought that like that thought never registered or questioning or if you know questioning the calling that thought I would have each time I would either see him or his wife ministering like that thought did not come at all and so I would love to take this opportunity to glorify God once more because that's definitely a spirit that has been that I've been delivered from and so I would love to praise the Lord and say thank you Jesus um yes thank you Um, there are definitely a lot of things that um, the prophet spoke of that I'm expecting the manifestation of. Um, but I really wanted to come back and just say thank you, Lord, because already I've experienced, I've already experienced um, enough testimonies to where I can definitely, I have experienced enough to where like I don't have to wait until everything else comes in order for me to glorify the Lord. And so, um, yes, I, I just wanted to share this testimony and give my thanksgiving to the Lord and also give my thanksgiving to Prophet Andres. And, um, and just thank you. <laughs>